Why do 95% of traders blow their accounts within the first year? It's not because they can't read charts. It's not because they don't understand price action. It's because they're playing Russian roulette with their capital. Here's the brutal truth. One bad week can wipe out months of gains. One revenge trade can cut your account in half. But there's a simple mathematical rule that makes it nearly impossible to blow your account, even if you hit a devastating losing streak. I'm talking about the 1% rule, and by the end of this video, you'll understand why the smartest traders risk small to win big. Let's dive in. Most beginner traders make the same fatal mistake. They risk way too much per trade because they're impatient. They want to grow their account fast. Let's say you've got a $5,000 account and you're risking 10% per trade. That's $500. Sounds reasonable, right? Wrong. If you lose just 10 trades in a row, which is completely possible even with a good strategy, your $5,000 account drops to $1,743. You've lost 65% of your capital. And here's where it gets worse. To recover from a 65% loss, you don't just need to make 65% back. You need to make over 185% just to break even. That's the asymmetry of losses. A 50% loss requires a 100% gain to recover. This is why over-risking is a death sentence. You're not just losing money, you're digging a mathematical hole that becomes nearly impossible to climb out of. So what's the solution? The 1% rule. It's simple. Never risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any single trade. Here's why this is powerful. If you risk 1% per trade, you'd have to lose 100 trades in a row to blow your account. 100 consecutive losses. Think about that for a second. Even if your strategy only wins 40% of the time, the odds of hitting 100 losses in a row are astronomically small. We're talking lottery level probabilities. Now let's talk about how to calculate your position size using the 1% rule. It's just three steps. Step one, calculate your dollar risk. If you have a $10,000 account and you're risking 1%, that's $100 per trade. Step two, Determine your stop-loss distance in pips or points. Let's say you're trading Forex and your stop is 20 pips away from your entry. Step three, divide your dollar risk by your stop distance. $100 divided by 20 pips equals $5 per pip. In Forex, one mini lot gives you $1 per pip, so you'd trade five mini lots. That's it. Your position size adjusts automatically based on your stop distance. Tighter stop, larger position. Wider stop, smaller position. But your capital risk stays locked at 1%. Let's run through some real examples so you can see how this scales. Example one, you've got a $5,000 account. 1% risk is $50 per trade. If your stop is 10 pips, you trade $5 per pip. That's five mini lots in Forex. Example two, you've got a $10,000 account. 1% is $100. The same 10 pip stop means $10 per pip or 10 mini lots. Example three, you've got a $50,000 account. 1% is $500. 10 pip stop means $50 per pip or five standard lots. Notice something? The percentage risk stays the same but your actual dollar risk and position size scale proportionally with your account. This is the beauty of percentage-based risk management. Now here's the critical part most traders miss. Your position size should never be arbitrary. It's not about how confident you feel. It's not about gut instinct. It's pure mathematics. Risk divided by stop distance equals position size. That's the formula. Memorize it. All right, let's talk probability. This is where it gets interesting. If you risk 1% per trade, you need 100 consecutive losses to zero your account. With 10% risk, only 10 consecutive losses. That's a massive difference in survivability. But let's be real, 1% sounds conservative. Can you actually make money with such a small risk? Absolutely, and here's how. Let's say you're targeting a two to one reward to risk ratio. That means for every 1% you risk, you're aiming for 2% profit. 
If you win just 5 trades out of 10, you make 5% profit. Win 6, you make 7%. Win 7, you make 9%. And these compounds, 10 winning trades at 2 to 1 equals 20% account growth. Do that consistently and you'll double your account in less than 4 months. But here's the kicker. If you're risking 5 or 10% per trade, you might grow faster in the short term, but one losing streak and you're done. The trader who survives is the trader who wins. The 1% rule keeps you in the game long enough to benefit from compounding. Think in odds, act with discipline. That's the risk one, reward three philosophy. You can't control whether you win or lose the next trade, but you can control how much you're willing to lose. Let's walk through a live example so you can see exactly how this works in practice. Imagine you're trading the EUR slash USD pair. Your account is $10,000. You've identified a long setup where price is bouncing off a demand zone. Your entry is at 1.0800. Your stop loss is at 1.0770. That's 30 pips below your entry. Your target is at 1.0890, which is 90 pips above your entry. That gives you a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio. Now let's calculate position size. Step 1. 1% 1 of 10,000 is $100. That's your dollar risk. Step 2. Your stop is 30 pips. Step 3. Divide 100 by 30. That's $3.33 per pip, or about 3 mini lots. If this trade hits your stop, you lose exactly $100, 1%. If it hits your target, you make $300, 3%. That's the asymmetry working in your favor. Now let's compare this to a trader risking 5%. They'd risk $500 on the same trade. If they lose, they're down 5%. And if they hit three or four losses in a row, they're in serious trouble. The difference? The 1% trader can weather 20, 30, even 50 losses and still be in the game. The 5% trader? 10 losses, and they're almost done. All right, let's address the objections. I know what you're thinking. 1% is too small. How am I supposed to make money? Here's the thing. You're thinking short term. Professional traders think long term. If you can consistently win with a 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 ratio and decent win rate, compounding will do the heavy lifting. 20% per year might sound boring, but it's sustainable and sustainability beats intensity every single time. Another objection. My strategy is so good, I can risk more. No. Even the best strategy hits losing streaks. You don't know when. You don't know how long. And if you're over-leveraged when it happens, you're done. The 1% rule isn't about limiting your upside. It's about protecting your downside. Because the only way to compound long-term is to stay in the game. Survival first, consistency second, profit third. That's the order. So here's your action step. Calculate 1% of your account right now. Write it down. That's your maximum risk per trade. No exceptions. No ego trades. No revenge trades. Discipline is your edge. If you found this valuable, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We're diving deeper into risk management position sizing, and the math of trading every single week. Remember, think in odds, act with discipline. See you in the next one.